Chevrolet's history goes back to the co-founder of the company, Louis Chevrolet. Louis Chevrolet actually grew up in Switzerland and his dad was a famous watchmaker. He took off and went to Paris and he started working on his engineering skills for automotive. When he saved enough money, he came to the US. Then he hooked up with Billy Durant and they formed Chevrolet Motor Division in 1911. Durant was the businessman, Louis Chevrolet was the inspiration and the racer. Louis Chevrolet and his wife, they were traveling in Europe. They were at a hotel in France and they saw this uh, piece of wallpaper that had an image of what the bow tie came to be. And so they brought that image into America, into Chevrolet, and it's been with us since 1911. Think about the engineers and the designers that started in the early 50s and then kicked off stuff like the 1955 Chevrolet Cameo pickup. And then you fast forward to a favorite of mine is a 57 Bel Air. And then you fast forward to like a Corvette Stingray, just phenomenal. Well, 1955 was a special year for Chevy because that was the year in which Chevrolet introduced the small block V8. Small block Chevy pretty much took over the hot rod scene. And it was a compact design. And it delivered this amazing combination of power, reliability, and it was affordable. And that engine powered many of our Corvettes and the Camaros and some of our pickup trucks. Really what we were able to do was take these great production engines, slightly modified maybe with a camshaft or an upgraded carburetor, and then have a turnkey package that they could take and put into their hot rod and update them. If you think about what we've achieved, I would say it's American ingenuity and the culture and the passion and the fans around Chevrolet. To me, what really stands out about Chevrolet's history is the connection with people. Ever since the beginning, they were always made around solving stuff. Like the old Suburban is like the longest lasting nameplate and we still make it today. We got a great ingenuity story right now. If you think about the all new mid-engine Corvette, a Silverado with a three liter Duramax turbo diesel, that gets 33 miles to the gallon. A Bolt EV gets 259 miles of range. We're gonna have an update to the Bolt EV coming out next year. And there'll be a new Bolt EUV, which is a new product line uh, coming off the same architecture. That vehicle will be the first Chevrolet to offer Super Cruise. Before I worked on electrics, I had gasoline in my veins. At the time, I couldn't imagine that future, really. Once I got into it and I understood what we were doing, it just made so much more sense. Putting all that together with one car company is what I call American innovation. I'm really excited for the future of Chevrolet. I think it's going to be great.